Attachment says that love is not all about infatuation. It's about seeking a safe haven in life. But that's kind of a big, fat, abstract idea, isn't it? Well, let me just twist it a bit and say, from this point of view, there's really only one core question that couples ask each other, and the answer defines everything. The core question is, are you there for me? Do I matter to you? Will you turn to me when I need? Can I reach and have you respond? Are you there for me? If the answer is anything but yes, I guarantee the relationship is in trouble. But let's just turn this safe haven idea into tangible science. I'm gonna tell you about a little study we did, a brain scan study. As part of a large study on bonding and attachment with distressed, insecurely attached couples in our lab, we put female partners in a brain scan machine and we told them that when they saw an X in front of their face, there was about a 30, 40% chance that they were gonna be shocked on their ankles. I actually thought, felt like a real psychologist for the first time ever because I got to shock people, okay. <laughs> okay. So, and by the way, the shocks hurt, okay, they hurt, okay, so. Um, so we put them in the machine before couple therapy and we, they were in three different conditions. We put them in alone in the machine with a stranger holding their hand or with their partner holding their hand. They're distressed, their relationship's not going well. In all three conditions, when they saw the ex, their brain lit up like the 4th of July. Alarm, alarm, alarm. All the alarm bells went off. And if you asked them if the shock hurt, they said yes, it was very painful. What is really interesting <laughs> is that after therapy, when the therapist has structured these bonding interactions for the couple, it was exactly the same when they were alone and with the stranger. Fourth of July, pain, it was exactly the same. But this time, when the ex appeared and they held their partner's hand, their brain stayed completely calm. And they reported that the shock was only uncomfortable. It looked like this. Can we have that slide, please? Notice the red looks like the, the 4th of July, and the blue is a resting brain. So after therapy, when the person was holding their partner's hand, who they now feel close and connected with, who's a safe haven for them, the threat comes and their brain stays calm. Um, I did ask my colleague who did this with me, a scientist called Jim Cohn from the University of Virginia, what the blue pieces meant, and he said to me, it means they're not dead, Sue. <laughs>